Senator Edward M. Kennedy, Champion of Disability Civil Rights. In Memoriam. Aftermath of a critical meeting with the administration. The, the concept, the approach changed from being a, a special legislation for a special group to being an extension of the protections of civil rights for our Americans. And this, this, this change in, in, uh, in, in, in viewing this uh, was, uh, had, had an effect in people's thinking. If you think that this is a con continuation of the guarantee of, of, of equal rights, and what we are basically doing is making progress in eliminating forms of discrimination against people with disability, you come to, I think, different conclusions than if you're looking at special legislation to try and look at some particular group. And what we're also looking for is, for is a sort of equal opportunity, so a broader kind of context in terms of, of the people that we're going to um, uh, to, uh, to, to look at. So I think that was uh, very, very uh, important. Beating back Representative Jim Chapman's amendment to exclude food handlers with HIV AIDS from protection under the law. And then we had the other negotiations with the House, the whole uh, debate on the Chapman uh, uh, amendments, which could have, uh, if we had yielded on, on this, as, uh, to ideology rather than science in terms of uh, what were going to be the conditions of employment, um, then we would have enshrined, even though you could say, well, let's just take that now and put it in the bill and get the rest of it passed, but you would have enshrined in the legislation ideology, uh, and we were trying to free, uh, this legislation was important for the message that it sent, and that is that we were going to free ourselves from um, ideology on, on this issue, which was the AIDS issue, and uh, look at sound science instead of being wrapped up in a, in, into a, a partisan political uh, uh, issue. It was very clear that in this uh, particular issue on the Chapman, uh, even though it was a smaller, in, you know, you could say, well, this is just one section and it only applied to certain kind of workers, it, it undermined in a very important and significant way the basic uh, freedom that, that this legislation, this declaration of independence of freedom for uh, those with disability. And, uh, and, and uh, Pat Wright and the organizations would not compromise on that principle. And uh, uh, I think it was a, a wise judgment, although there were people that were attempting to second guess it at the time, but it was a wise judgment, the legitimacy of the uh, of, of the demands, and uh, this institution is, is uh, does respond sometimes, not always, but sometimes, but it did in this situation, and, uh, and, and importantly so. Connections to disability and the disability community. I mean, this was a, uh, obviously it was something uh, relatively easy for me to identify with because of my own son Teddy's experience and uh, lost a leg to, to a cancer and I, I've had scores of s small instances as well as larger instances where uh, that, that, uh, that particular uh, issue uh, was something that, that uh, I was able to understand much better about how he viewed it and so I, I, I had a the benefit of having some important uh, uh, insights and, and then having the benefit of a wonderful sister who was uh, mentally retarded, uh, I had uh, also some insights into this. So I, I think uh, being able to perhaps become even more emotionally involved in it uh, was, was a, perhaps of some, uh, some value. And I, I think uh, certainly the highlight uh, of it, uh, this whole experience, was sitting with my son Teddy and Pat Wright. And, we were, I think, about 55 or 65 rows back at the time of the signing of uh, this in the, uh, in the White House. But uh, we were back there with uh, a lot of the people that had made the difference, and that was the place to be. Well, I think it's, uh, it was a proud moment for uh, the, uh, the country. And I always think of the, the, uh, they, uh, the, the community 
uh, made this nation a fairer and a better country because of it. And they ought to get the sense of satisfaction from, uh, uh, from making this country uh, uh, the America that all of us want to be. And they, we, we came closer to it uh, that day and when the legislation was signed. Thoughts on the ADA and civil rights for Americans with disabilities. This uh, legislation was obviously a, uh, a benchmark achievement uh, for uh, those with disabilities. If you look at what the conditions were a generation before and compare it to, uh, to now, it's, it's monumental. And the progress that was made in the 80s and then I think uh, achieved in the, with that legislation was monumental. But we still have important uh, ways to go, and particularly in the areas of health care. And uh, we made some progress in, the, uh, in this last Congress with regards to employment and, uh, and health care. But uh, we still have to try and uh, continue to recognize the special uh, health care circumstances that uh, many of uh, those with, with the disability are facing. And I think we still have to continue to make uh, progress in terms of uh, these, these other areas. Employment, it's, uh, this was important, but we still have a, a long ways to, to go. Uh, there's still a lot of uh, inequities. For many of us who were very much involved in the whole issues of civil rights, you take uh, 1988, uh, we passed the Fair Housing Act, and it virtually passed unanimous. Fair housing to stop discrimination on the basis of race but in that 88 Act, we included discrimination against those that had disability. They were tied together on this. This was really the year, two years, two and a half years prior to uh, the, uh, uh, the ADA. Um, and so once we were able to get the thinking back into the fact that this was civil rights rather than just special legislation, I think we uh, created a climate and an atmosphere of understanding with our colleagues in the Senate that was really the basis of, uh, of the progress we were able to make on that uh, legislation. But, uh, you know, we still have much to do. Senator Kennedy, the staff, board of directors, and allies of the Disability Rights, Education, and Defense Fund, thank you for your unwavering advocacy and for the honor of working with you for equal justice on behalf of people with disabilities. Written by Susan Henderson, edited by Dave Nold.